Men of Reddit, what do you think would be the worst thing about being a woman? Giving birth. I imagine there is always an underlying fear they live with each day. Fear of so many things they do not have control over. Periods sound like the worst. Probably being afraid of being raped. Having to live with the fact that there are so many sick people out there. Not being taken seriously when you have legitimate experience in a field. I personally experienced it as a man when I enrolled into animal husbandry and vet tech. In school. Being the only male for 4 years only to be exully harried, insulted, and talked down because I was the one outlier in my clay. It only made me realize the way my peers treated the sole female in agricultural mechanics, automotive repair, and forestry was very much alike to how I was treated as well. And I just couldn't imagine facing that every single day, every single hour of my life. Everyone's posting periods or childbirth or something and, while those would be terrible to deal with, they are not constantly inhibiting your success in life. As a kid, teen, even young adult, I absolutely hated not being taken seriously because of my age. Hell, even nowadays some of my family refuses to believe the little brother may know more about his specialty than someone older with very little relevant experience and that please me off. I've now grown past the age prejudice and couldn't freaking imagine not being taken seriously, or at least as seriously as a male counterpart, for the rest of my life. Men being freaking creeps. Probably the societal pressure. Spending ages on beauty regime sounds like a pain in the butt. If I were a man becoming a woman, I'd guess probably the hormonal differences. I doubt my testosterone brain would handle a relatively male of estrogen influx all that well. The fact that the people around you will consider you hysterical every time you disagree with someone and defend your opinion. Living in constant fear of exolayalt, according to some women. This is something many women deal with on a daily basis, because we are taught early that we are prey and should act like it to avoid getting hurt. Such as always walking in groups, not going out at night, keeping keys in our fists in case we have TP punch someone coming at us, having a man in the house with us so we're even not alone in our own homes. It's horrible. Being pressured to climb a corporate ladder and feel bad for wanting to be a stay at home mom if you so do choose. Being physically weaker, smaller, slower and less physically tough and hard, bone structure, Upper body muscle may. I have met a couple women in my life who have endometriosis and they describe how bad the pain is. Felt really sorry for them and would hate to go through something similar. Someone claiming to be a female redditor once wrote that, in the back of their minds, whenever they are talking to any guy they don't know, most women are thinking, this guy could rape or kill me if he wanted to. Dunno if that's true or a reflection of that individual's paranoia, but it must suck to have anxiety like that if most women have it. I guess the male equivalent would be fear of a false rape accusation, but even that is something I never worry about when I talk with women. The only time I've ever felt threatened by another person was the one time I was violently robbed in my 37 years of life. In any other social encounter I've had, the thought that the person I'm talking to might be a physical threat to me is practically non-existent. And I say that as one who is probably in the bottom 10% of men, in terms of physical strength. But maybe I'm naive. In today's world, wages are so low and costs of living are so high that it's no longer an option, for most of them, whether to work. And while I hope we can agree that women who want to have careers should be able to, having to work sucks. Society has burdened them with the male curse, but still expects them to do all the stereotypically female things, bees eye, stay thin, keep a clean house, take care of the kids, serve as the social hub of the family. They're pulling double duty now. On top of that injustice, they're still underpaid and underpromoted. Finally, not only has capitalism, a, forced them into work in most cases, and, b, 
taken advantage of their relative disadvantage to lower their wages, but it has also damaged us men. There are exceptions, men in the middle, and I like to think I'm one, but capitalism has this effect of bifurcating us into two sets, one toxically masculine, narcissistic, and dangerous, the winners of this horrible economic system, the other defeated, emasculated, and self-pitying, the losers of it. Having to deal with those kinds of people who DM you random s. Must feel like a snowstorm after getting thousands of DMs because of mentioning that you're a girl. And also the fashion might be an issue as well. It must be a pain to not have pockets for a phone or a wallet. Getting laid all the time would be frowned upon. As a guy you're a player. As a girl you're suddenly a s. I don't want kids as a guy, but can't imagine how terrible it'd be to be pregnant. Like I imagine it like the alien just burst a butt with your vagina. We had to watch a birth video in health clay and it was by far the most horrifying thing I've seen. How do y'all do that? Other women. This isn't true for every female, but some that I know, there seems to be a lot of judging each other, putting each other down, or saying things behind each other's back. As a woman myself I read these comments out of curiosity and I was genuinely surprised in a good way about how aware you all are on the struggles we have to face so thank you for being educated and trying to see from our perspective. Being afraid of going anywhere after dark, especially alone. I already get a little weirded out by dark alleys, dark woods, strangers walking alone at night, etc. But I imagine if I was a girl that would be 10 times worse. Other women, seriously hear me out. The cattiness and the downright awful behavior between other women on how they treat each. All I have to say good god. That fact that they can get attacked by men so easily, especially if alone. Yeah I know often I take night walks. Like 3 times a week at least. A woman could never cause she'd probably be attacked. I'm a girl who was walking to her car after work late at night and got jumped by a dude and she was so defenseless. I walked to my car late at night with zero thought that someone is gonna run up and beat my A or even rape me. I feel bad for women simply for that. There's more but them needing company past night time is the worst emo. Sexual harem and alt. Between high school and college I dated a lot of women. Some were just one or two dates and others were LTRs. And one thing got them every single one had in common, like this not even an exaggeration, every. Single. One. Comma had at one time or another in their life felt really seeped out by some skeevy a dude. What really hit home was realizing that both my mom and sister are among these. Another crazy thing, a lot of times it happens more than once and it happens when they are young. I couldn't imagine being 11 years old and having an adult comment on my looks using words they would use on other adults. The constant emotional height and mental state, I'm quite subdued as a guy, calm, quiet and just chill as freak. From the women I have talked to, their brains are on like 110 miles per hour at all times with no breaks except when they orgasm and the brain goes do fuck and has to reboot or when they're asleep. Honestly I couldn't deal with that sort of stress and would have a heart attack almost immediately. I am no man, but for the people who are men. Periods. No objections. Dealing with men. E. G underestimation, being talked down to, manipulation, etc. Comma B R E O S T P O I N. Sorry to point that out, but it's true. Comma fear of rape, molesting, being afraid of every man you see and every shadow you see, catcalling, blackmailing. Unlike males, females are commonly used as toys and puppets. We fear being in public unarmed, which is why we also cry a lot and hesitate to confess our love and feelings, stuff like that. Looks and status. We live on that. As we grow older, our status fades at times with our looks. Trust issues. Similar as the fourth one, 
but we hesitate to trust others. Even girls. Lack of self-esteem. Sometimes, we will just look in the mirror and just say to ourselves, I'm fat. When we aren't. We always judge our looks, which is why we live on reputation. Being underpaid. Just because of how we look does not affect how we act. For example, look at me, I look okay but I can call BS quickly and I can get away with stuff easily. And so on. All the extra pillows on the bed. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment.